Aquarius. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Welcome if you're a newcomer and welcome back if you're one of my lovely subscribers. I just love you guys so much. We are here for your how they feel, what they might do, what their intentions are. We're here for that particular reading about a person of interest. Could be past, could be future, could be predictive. If it resonates, it does. Great. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Check your other signs if it doesn't. Your person, how do they feel? Ooh, they adore you, Aquarius. This person feels very passionate, very loving, very intense, very loyal. They are making an offer of, sub of substance. This is very much Taurus energy, very fixed, very positive, very lovely, kind. Tends to be a bull in a china shop if anybody threatens who they love or what they love or what they want. This person can go berserk <laughs> if they get really mad. But let's say this. This person is super grounded. This is a person probably with the lowest temper in the entire tarot deck. But they will fight till the death if somebody threatens anybody or anything that they love. So it is an interesting energy. But it's really lovely. We get that energy of being grounded. This person feels as though they have to give up on things that have not worked. The Ten of Wands, walking away from a failure or moving on from the past. Something that was too burdensome in terms of their heart space. We do get the energy that they adore you, love you, need you, want you, want to, you know, you're almost like, uh, could you please just come and sit on my lap, please? Please, Aquarius, because I adore you. They love your femininity. They love your masculinity, whatever applies. We're getting the energy that this person feels as though you are literally their wish fulfillment. So Aquarius, this is your card. Here you are in your reading. You know, it shows that this person has their heart set on you. This could also be a celebrity crush. And I don't, I never speak like that, but this looks like very much a celebrity crush. So whether you're a celebrity or somebody else is a celebrity, somebody is crushing really hard on you. We get that they feel like they're not really ready to open up yet. Seven of Wands, being self-protective, being a bit in a bubble, feeling as though you may have rejected this person or they may feel like you've given them no choice. So let's see what's in the near future. What is going on here? They are going to reach out to you. They're going to be in contact with you. We get the energy that this person wants to throw caution to the winds. They're going to be flirty with you. They're going to contact you, send you some really fun, peppy, you know, text messages. But the five of swords, my God, they feel like they're not getting anything from you. This person is feeling like there's blood in the water. Like, what do you want from me, Aquarius? I don't really know what to do. This is your energy also, but it looks like you're, you could be very upset with this person. And they seem to be trying to make an apology here. Yeah, here we go. We have, so the situation as it's coming in, I'm going to pull the clarifiers at the same time. This person is rushing towards you to talk to you about a situation in which they felt they had no control that put the two of you into a, a fight of major sorts and that they felt as though, you know, you, you don't see this as being whatever obstacle they're seeing to the relationship. You don't see it. So there's a big argument. This person's coming in very romantically to woo you, to chase you. But again, the knights are coming and going. They're not the kings. They're not the kings. So what I get here is that this person has promised you stability and I feel as though for most of you, you never, you never got that stability that was promised. So we, we get this king here and like, well, I'm going to give up on my responsibilities and I'm just going to leave. So that has left you feeling very defensive. It has left you feeling like, well, what the heck, you know, they're flirty with me, but like, so what? The energy here in terms of their fear is that, oh my God, their fear that what they, their wish and their fear is in the ninth position of the Celtic. And it shows that they fear that you've already manifested somebody better than them. There you are. They see you as very feisty, beautiful, sexy, unconditionally, unconditionally loved by many people. Temperance. They want to make things right. 
Aquarius, Aquarius, your person wants to reconcile with you. They absolutely do. What's the outcome at this time for our beautiful Aquarius friends and what this person will do? Oh, a marriage energy. That's a stuck energy. Oh, but moving forward. Okay. So Aquarius, your person, oh, underwater. Oh my God. So what I'm seeing Aquarius is that you have a situation in which your person may be married, is likely that they are, or they're caught up in a situation or in a place on the globe that they can't get to you. They feel very underwater. They feel hopeless. They feel as though they're you know, they're just going to suffer the consequences of not taking the relationship seriously, you know, at an earlier time in your relationship. So when we get this energy of feeling overwhelmed like this, and they feel absolutely hellbent on chasing after you to solve an argument that really right now, it doesn't appear that you're, you're not really into it. Why is the five of swords here for, for the way they see you? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Basically, what you've said to this person is, look at, I can't tell you what to want. You said this to them in one way or another. I can't tell you what to want, but I know what I want, and it isn't what you want. And so peace be to you. Peace out. But, you know, this is not enough for me. Judgment card. You, Aquarius, have made this judgment that you want more. And the Page of Swords, you know, you did trick you did trip this person's trigger of being a little snarky, a little bit pointed with you. But the fool card says that you've gone off in another direction, that at the end of the day, you are not going to entertain this person's wishes about this relationship. And it shows that this person is wanting to come towards you, but how, you know, the, they're drowning in the fact that they still have a connection for which they have a level of responsibility. The Hierophant, many of the, for many of you, this person is married. For many of you, this person was a burden to you and you left it behind. So what we're seeing here, Aquarius, is that your head is really, you know exactly what you want. You're defending your dreams, your hopes. And in so doing, you are going to manifest them because we do have, here you are. You've already manifested it. And if you haven't, what we're seeing here is that you know that you can. That's not even a question. This person says to you, Aquarius, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. No surprise there that you were the one that got away, Aquarius. And this person had every way in the world to attract you and keep you in a relationship. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, they, they really, really messed up here. It looks as though they gave up on this relationship long before they should have. And they understand, I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this person is taking a certain level of accountability. It's interesting that they think they know what your pain is, which I'm not so sure they do. You know, at the end of the day, I think a lot of your pain was the fact that they weren't really doing what they said they were going to do in a relationship with you. So I feel as though this person had very unrealistic expectations, Aquarius. So we see you being very happy, moving off into the future. You definitely are taking a different offer. You're in this Empress energy. You're in star energy. So for you, this is a very good time in your life. This is um, this reading is very much like a phone reading that I do for my clients. It's a $40, 10-minute reading. You buy it on the website, irishdonna.com. And if you would like this reading, you're free to uh, purchase one. So let's see here what we have. And I get notified immediately, and then I contact you right away to set up the appointment. So it's usually a same-day reading. Surrendering to the journey. If not the same day, usually, typically the next day. But you are surrendering to the journey. You are in a wondrous universe. So Aquarius, look at this. Look at how absolutely walk in beauty. Look at this energy. And that is where you're at. So I see that many of you are releasing this person and have released this person. Uh, you may not be in another relationship yet, but it really, you are absolutely set, ready ready, set, go. A new beginning will come in for you because we have judgment in the fool card here. So, you know, you have Hierophant, you have all these energies of divine love, marriage, working things out, because you're staying 
true to yourself, Aquarius. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.